Hello, I'm Steve Edwards with UT Extension in Campbell County. I'm out here in the barn today to talk to you about feeding market lambs and kids to a target weight for show. But I think that's a bit of a misnomer in that rather than focus on a particular weight, I'd rather concentrate on a range of weights to where I think that animal's going to look their very best and be their most competitive. Somebody's going to need to win light weights and somebody's going to need to win the heavyweights. So it varies from animal to animal in terms of their body type and, and their frame size and maturity and where they need to be to look their best. So don't get it in mind that every market lamb needs to weigh 140 pounds or every kid needs to weigh 80, 85 pounds to be in the hunt. Um, so you need to determine where you think that animal is going to look their best. And if you have trouble with that, ask your extension agent or your breeder or folks that have experience feeding sheep and goats. They'll be glad uh, to help you kind of figure out where that end point needs to be. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about some things that we can do initially to make sure that these animals get off to a really good start when we get them home. Maybe you've been to a live auction or a breeder's farm and bought one. Maybe you've bought one online. Maybe you're raising your own. But there's some things that we need to do to maybe remove some obstacles that'll keep them from growing and performing their very best. And the first thing that I would recommend is to give them a round of C, D, and T. They've probably left the farm with at least two rounds, but it won't hurt a thing to go ahead and, and give them a booster when you get them home. The other thing that we want to do is get the parasites out of them. They may or may not have been dewormed at the, at the breeder's farm, so get you a good dewormer and let's get the worms out of them because we want to feed sheep and goats and not worms. Uh, for those of you that are feeding goats, you might want to set you up a program where you're doing that on a regular basis as goats tend to have more parasite problems than sheep do. For those of you that are feeding market lambs, if they come home with the wool on them, I will go ahead and give them a good rough shear. For most of these old lambs, it's kind of like flipping the switch it, and, and they, they cool off, they feel better, and they'll jump right in and won't miss a beat as you uh, transition them over to their new feed. Don't be afraid to ask your breeder for a little bit of transition feed. That way when you get home, they've got a feed there that they're familiar with, they're used to eating it, and they, and they won't miss a beat as we put them on their new feed. I always get the question, how much should I feed? Uh, that's a good question. I like to start with about 3% of body weight, but how do you know what body weight is? Um, this thing is going to be a whole lot easier for you if you have a set of scales or at least access to a set of scales where you can get a benchmark or a starting point for that for that particular animal and uh, I've actually seen some digital scales out there uh, that will weigh up to 700 pounds uh, priced under $300 and, and that's a fairly large investment uh, but if you're going to be in this project for for six or eight years uh, three hundred dollars is is not that bad spread out over over six or eight years and plus the fact that when you get done if you don't need those scales anymore you shouldn't have any problem selling them so uh, I would I would recommend that you probably get you a set of scales and uh, and because they're going to be very useful to you and if you on down the road uh, but once that animal gets home, you get them settled in, don't, uh, get, give them two or three days to settle in and, and, and get you a benchmark weight on them. I wouldn't recommend weighing them right off the trailer. They've been hauled, they've been stressed, probably not going to get a true and accurate weight by doing that. Let them settle in a little bit before you get that initial weight on them. So then you can figure out where that 3% level is, okay? So on a 100 pound lamb, 3% is going to be 3 pounds a day. Uh, so I would split that into two feedings, a pound and a half in the morning, a pound and a half in the evening. Uh, now the accurate way to do that is if you had a feed scale, you could weigh your feed. Uh, the other way, if you don't have a feed scale, most of you have one of these. That's a three pound scoop, okay? Uh, filled at the top, leveled off, that's roughly three pounds of feed, depending on the density of the feed, uh, but it'll generally be right, or, right at three pounds. So a pound and a half is going to be basically up to this line on the side okay uh, or the, what I call the top of the handle right here so that that's how you can kind of gauge how much they're getting you want to feed them uh, I like to feed about uh, the amount that they're going to clean up in about 15 or 20 minutes I don't like feed laying around in the trough all day if they're not cleaning it up 
back them off a little bit, uh, and then you can and then you can bump them up as they uh, as their appetite gets better. Uh, particularly in the summertime, we don't want feed laying around in the trough with the flies and, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, so feed them about what they're going to clean up in about 15 minutes is what I would recommend there. Um, most lambs uh, and goats are are going to gain. Oh, somewhere in the neighborhood of two to three pounds a week, unless you unless you're really pushing them hard. Uh, so you can you can get that initial weight and project uh, down the road what the end point's going to be. So if if you start with a hundred pound lamb, you you get him home and his benchmark weight's hundred pounds, and we've got ninety days to feed. We're looking at another 40, 45 pounds. I generally don't count that last week because we're going to haul them to the show and it's going to be hot and they're going to stress out and they're going to lose a little weight. I understand that, but um, I generally don't. So I don't count the last week. Uh, so we've got our animals in. We've got them on the breeder's transition feed. We've got that initial benchmark weight. I would recommend that you weigh them at least once a week. I would do it at the same same time with the same body feel. Uh, we always used to weigh our market lambs on Sunday afternoon before we'd feed. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going ahead and feeding them and, and tanking them up on feed. That way your, your weights are not real accurate if you do that. So uh, keep a record of what they're gaining. If they're not gaining enough weight to suit you or to, or to meet that end point that you said initially, then, then you can go ahead and bump them up. I think the key to feeding livestock is to make all your changes gradually, whether you're increasing the amount of feed that they eat or you're uh, changing over onto a, onto a new show feed. Uh, I would recommend no more that for sheep and goats, no more than a quarter pound at, at a time. Uh, that's four ounces a day. That's two ounces in the morning and two ounces at night. And you say, well, how much is that? Well, just a general rule of thumb, that cupped handful is going to be about two ounces, okay? So that much in the morning and that much at night, you may want to do that for a day or two and, and keep an eye on your, on, your, on your animal. If they're not getting loose or they're not showing any signs of backing off, then go ahead and bump it up a little more, you know? So, uh, but the, the key is to make all your changes gradually. We don't want to knock these animals off feed, particularly in hot weather. It's, it's real easy to do. So uh, here again, just, just go slow and 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 uh, do it gradually um, always get the question what's the best feed to feed well that varies okay and it depends what's the best feed for you might not be the best feed for your neighbor okay and in, in my opinion uh, the best feed is one that's a, a fixed ingredient uh, quality feed that's that's readily available and designed for your species and fits your budget okay uh, by fixed ingredient, I mean it's it's got the same ingredients in it every time that they mix uh, a batch of feed as opposed to a least cost ration where the ingredients may change a little bit that particular batch depending on uh, commodity prices. So uh, get you a feed that's that's uh, that's going to be the same every time that you go to the store and get it. Uh, quality ingredients are important. Uh, Steamrolled corn is better and more available than cracked corn. Uh, natural plant protein sources are better than, than uh, non-protein nitrogen or urea. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of good show feeds out there. Uh, some of them are pretty pricey, but um, the good thing about feeding sheep and goats is they don't eat a lot. It's not like feeding cattle or pigs, okay? so. Uh, a lot of these show feeds are going to run anywhere from 15 to 25 dollars a bag okay so uh you know if you've got one or two lambs on feed that's that's still not that expensive because they're not eating that much but if you've got 10 lambs on feed then price may uh, be a bit more of a factor i guess um but uh you know, feed a feed that's designed for your species. We, we don't feed lambs cattle feed. We don't feed goats pig feed, okay? So make sure that you get one that's designed for your, for your uh, species that you've got on feed and find you a feed that's readily available, okay? You don't want to get down there Friday afternoon or Saturday morning and, and decide, hey, I'm running out of feed. I've got to go to the feed store 
and uh, well we don't have that in stock we'll have to order it it'll be next week before it gets in uh, so find you a, a dependable source where they're going to have it in stock uh, when you get there to buy it and uh, hopefully fresh feed it's not last year's feed that's been sitting in a warehouse somewhere for a year you need to feed fresh feed uh, so that would be my definition of the best feed so decide which one you want to feed and, and stick with it uh, let's take just a minute and talk a little bit about supplements um, everybody's got one some of them are pretty pricey okay uh, I never used to feed a lot of supplements uh, by one protein supplement and, and maybe an energy supplement uh, depending on depending on the animal and, and, and what I thought that they probably needed uh, you can spend a fortune out there on what I call foo-foo dust okay it may work it may not but if you've got a supplement that you like to feed and, and, and it's in your budget to feed that then then uh, by all means feed it that's fine if you th if you think it works and it helps you that's great uh, but like it could be very simple I, I would feed a protein supplement uh, that could be something as simple as, as soybean meal okay uh, there are a lot of good uh, protein supplements out there on the market that are in that 35 to 40 percent protein range if you've got a smaller frame lamb that needs uh, or goat that needs to grow some more frame and stay a little leaner as you as you've got him through your feeding program then then you can add that supplement and, and hopefully keep him a little leaner maybe help him to grow a little more frame and, and be a little bigger at his end point. Uh, if you've got a, a, a big framey one that, that maybe needs to uh, uh, get a little more cover on them a little earlier, then you can buy an energy supplement. There, there's lots of, lots and lots of energy supplements out there. Some of them are fat based, some of them are, are starch based. Uh, steam rolled corn works pretty good, you know, and, and, and it's fairly reasonable as far as price. Uh, there's a lot of fat supplements out there. Be really careful with the fat supplements though, particularly in the heat of the summer. It's real easy to overdo it on, on fat supplements and, and get these animals off feed. I kind of prefer a combination of, of, of corn and fat if I'm going to try to uh, uh, supplement the energy in my ration a little bit. But here again, anytime that you add a supplement, you need to be really gradual, start real slow with a small amount and work your way up. Okay, keep an eye on what's coming out of the back end of that animal too. If they start getting a little bit loose, then you're going to want to back them down. Keep plenty of good grass hay in front of them uh, to keep them tightened up. Um, as far as hay goes, I, I, I generally get a lot of questions about how much hay should we feed. Uh, well, that depends. On you lambs, I generally give them hay free choice. A good quality grass hay. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be alfalfa like this. Uh, a good quality grass hay will work just fine. They, these are ruminants, okay? We're, they need a little long fiber in their diet. We're not feeding pigs. So, um, as far as hay is concerned, they all need some hay, okay? Uh, but uh, the weathers, if you're concerned about how much gut it puts on them or whatever, uh, maybe you want to limit their hay a bit uh, and force them to the feed just a little more, and you can do that. But I, I would recommend at least like a volleyball-sized chunk of hay uh, per feeding, twice a day, okay, just, just to keep their guts working and, uh, and to keep them on feed. They're going to need that fiber in their diet. Well, as we wrap this thing up, hopefully you've learned a little bit about the basics of feeding market lambs and, and show goes. Uh, if you have any questions, there's lots of folks out there willing to help you. If you have questions for me, call me, text me, email me. I'll be more than happy to try to help you answer your questions. So uh, with that being said, uh, thank you for tuning in and watching. And, and uh, hopefully we've, we've told you something that will help you be more competitive and then maybe help you get to the backdrop at your shows this summer. So uh, thanks again and, and good luck at your show.